What's going on YouTube? Omar aka Tebow back with you again. Tonight I want to do an unboxing and overview of the EB Peak SD1 charger that I just got. Now, did I need a new charger? Absolutely not. Only reason I bought this is number one, it just looked amazing and outrageous and I had to have it. But mainly number two, I wanted to get some of the new uh, high voltage lipos that are out there and my current charger that I've had for many years which is a Timo Ryan Duo um, fantastic charger but it will not support those so I went out and picked this up now I bought this from a main hobbies where it was branded as an RC ProTech SD1 charger but nowhere on here do you see anything associated with a main or RC ProTech this is an EV Peak SD1 uh, balance charger discharger so I'm guessing they're just purchasing these and reselling them which is fine I couldn't find it online anywhere else for really less and they had a coupon code as well so that helped a little bit um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna unbox this and we'll take a look and see what comes inside the package alright so what you get inside the box of course you get the charger and I gotta tell you this thing is massive it does have a handle on the top it has a beautiful touch screen on there you do get a stylus for the touchscreen. You do get two uh, balance boards, two sets of charge leads that have a Deans or a T connector on them. You do get a DC power cable um, that is an XT90 and an AC power cable and an instruction manual. All right, I have the unit up and running. And I gotta tell you, it's a little loud. It has two giant fans on the back. I'm glad that's gonna do a good job cooling it. But it is a little bit loud. Um, not that that really bothers me. As far as the unit goes, um, this is both an AC or DC powered unit. It can provide 500 watts times two um, through DC and 300 watts times two through AC. So you can charge two packs at the same time. Um, it can do up to 30 watt discharges. Um, it will, of course, charge, balance, discharge, cycle, storage mode. It'll support high voltage lipos, lipos, lions, uh, lifes, nickel metal hydrides, and nickel cadmium batteries as well. The menu system is actually really nice. We're looking at it right now, and it's as simple as just using the stylus. Let's say we want to charge a pack, charge, choose the type. We want a lipo, choose the number of cells. We're going to go 2S, 4.2, because I don't have any high voltages yet. Set um, capacity, we'll just say it's a 5,000, that's fine. Current, you can go all the way up and see how far we can go. 30 amps per channel right there, so um, quite impressive. And then you have your balance, your fast. Um, and the SOC is a special thing that it does is it's a um, safe overcharge is what it stands for. So if you're a big time racer, you like to have that warm pack, which depending on your race organization could be illegal. Um, you can do a safe overcharging on the pack just so you can have the hottest pack. Um, if you're running, you know, 21.5 class or 17.5 class, that that might make a difference for you. Beyond that, through our home menu, we have discharge functions. You can cycle it, you could do your storage mode. Forming, I haven't read up yet. Meters, whatever you have hooked up, it'll go ahead and give you a complete readout of all the different uh, cells and what's going on with them, voltages, etc. That about covers the overview on this charger. I'm pretty excited to have this thing. Like I said, I didn't need it, but it's something I definitely, definitely wanted. Um, if I have anything surprising come out of this charger, I will post another video. But other than that, thanks for coming along with me for this unboxing. And as always, please be sure to hit that like button, give me a subscribe, and feel free to share the video. Thanks guys, I'll see you later.